What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's Queen's Flip. First and foremost, G-Money and myself and the people at Flip the Script Studios want to thank you for your support. Um, I know you guys, a lot of y'all asking when the Jim Jones episode is coming out, but you have a chance to watch the full Jim Jones episode by simply becoming a member on YouTube. So sign up for the membership, become a member, and watch it. It's available now. And here's the clip of Jim Jones, Queen. Why don't you forgive? I do forgive, I just don't forget. Copper, you really don't forgive. I do forgive, I just don't forget. I got, I'm got. i a passionate person. And her? Copper. Compassionate. Compassionate. That's the, that's the word. But I, 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 I forgive, I just don't forget. So if you did something to me that I don't appreciate and it's that detrimental, then I believe the best thing for us not to do is not to talk anymore, no matter whatever the circumstances is. So if it's over money, that was a small price I had to pay for not having to deal with you in them situations anymore and shit like that. But I learned to love a lot of people from afar and it hurts me when I see something happens to those people and shit like that, especially anybody that I once loved and shit like that. But you cannot violate me and think that I'm gonna ever forget what you did. And if you press that line, then I'm gonna give you what I should have gave you in the first place. Cabo, a lot of people wanted you to, to, to forgive a certain individual, and you just you just won't. I spoke to you about it privately. You just won't. And don't do the smile. You just won't forgive. A lot of people try to make peace, and you just won't. Now, I just want to ask you one question. I'm not. I'm gonna be careful because you're my man. Is it because? Because one thing about it, you love. Is it because of what was said? Bro, we're not going into nothing. My. You heard. You know how this is gonna go. I, I gave you a moment to do it, but it's, we ain't doing that. I don't. I, I, I don't want you to disrespect nobody. I'm just saying, why don't you forgive? Just can you answer that? Can you answer? Can you answer why you don't forgive? Is it because? Is it because? It I said I do forgive. I just don't forget. But people been trying to squash that, and you don't want to. Mm, I, I don't. I, I don't feel. I don't know what you're talking about okay. right now, bro. I'm just saying, I'm your brother. You I'm just saying, I know people been trying, bro. On top of that. Not, See, uh, you don't want to talk about it. Leave me the f alone, Flip. All right. You, you know I know the real stories. Flip. Leave me the f alone. But let me just say one last thing. I'm going to move on from that. When Killer calling, Capo love Killer. And Capo like, mm -hmm. <laughs> man, it's, it's deep. It's deep. <laughs> Two Brute, what is this? Julius Caesar Day? What do you feel? Scratching the back? Did he cut Jesus' sandals? <laughs> No, for real. Killer called the he know what I'm talking about. Cabo like Yo. Alright, I'm gonna move on. Are you talking about? I'm gonna move on. Huh? You know what I'm talking what about. The, I'm gonna move on because you're my man. Are you talking about? I just about? I just wanna I just hope one day you could it's teach not, me to forgive. I don't know what the f you talking about. Can you teach me to forgive? Yes or no? I gotta teach you how to forget. But not forget. Are <laughs> oh, you gonna teach me how to forget, you said? <laughs> <laughs> um Stack Dive, what did it what did it do? What what did it do to you when Stack uh, died? Man. Uh, very difficult time in my life. It wasn't even. It wasn't only Stack that had died. Holly had died the next month. So Holly had died. Of his I had two deaths of two of my closest young boys, and it it it, it took me for a spiral for a minute and shit like that. Um, as close as I've had gotten to Stacks and the relationship I had with Holly and. Just being on the road with everybody and everything that's happening so fast. And, you know, in life, you don't think about somebody's not going to be there tomorrow, especially somebody like Stax. That's the furthest thing from your mind. And I just talked to him, and we were talking about all the shit he's about to do, and he's about to go to the bank. You know, I just, he, he made me smile just to see how he's moving and shit like that. And, and that shit just kind of crushed my soul and shit like that. Like, it, it, it really, it was a tough summer that summer for me and shit like that. Like, and it was bad, Holly right? died on my, my, my B day, I believe it was, right? Just was a lot for me to, to take in. And, um, you know, it'll still be hard for me to talk about Stacks to this day. It'll still be hard for me to listen to his music to this day and shit like that. And a lot of people ask me why. Yo, you don't be playing this music, all, all this other shit. But they don't know how hard it is for me to even hear his voice or to watch his videos or to him say squad up and, like, you know, that shit hits me different than it would hit anybody that was his fan or might have knew him or might have liked him. Like, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different for me. You know what I mean? Like, 
So, a lot of people thought that you had uh, or you still had unreleased stack records, but they don't know that you. Like another thing that you just let just people just say, you just let it say because you just think you some sort of genie in a bottle. Like, oh, y'all can say what y'all want. Three wishes, I pop up. No, like people think that you still had his, his records, that you still had unreleased, and you complied. Like, well, I don't want to use the word comply, but you, what's the word? You and the family had to understand it at the time. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't, you don't have any unreleased stack records. Um. No, I didn't have, I had a few records at the time and shit like that, but it wasn't like I had a slew of stack records. He had another studio that he recorded. Yeah, Miller. Inside of Queens. Yeah, Dunkirk. Mm -hmm. That studio had multiple records from stack bundles. Um, He just had so many people trying to dip into his legacy before they even let it bloom, before we was able to do something for it, for it to make some money for his family. You know what I mean, then his pops came home and... His pop has had his own scenario about what should happen and, and how it should happen and things like that. And you know, I I knew Stacks. I ain't knew his family, so it wasn't. I, I definitely wasn't gonna sit there and go back and forth with nobody family members that I did not know from nowhere. But one thing I do know is I'm a good judge on character and things like that. And I know a lot of them people at the time, mm, there wasn't in it for his best interest. There was a lot of ulterior motives when it came to using Stacks little bit of success that he was gaining at the time to their advantage and I didn't think it was fair so I just chose to step back and not say nothing about it and I don't really care about what people say or how what people think about me I never been a fan of none of that shit. that shit don't pay me no dollar bills you know what I mean like and I never been outside with somebody express how they felt to me personally <laughs> I mean but but cop well, come on man really like yeah we we, we know um, shout out to Miller I mean stack stuff was there uh, I remember at a time that you were interested in getting a situation to to put out a stack album. I was trying to, but yes. the dude, but the dude who owns the studio was unrealistic with his expectations of how it was supposed to go, and that was one of the last straws too. Like I'm not going back and forth with you, bro. Like you obviously think it's a it's a money grab for you somewhere down the line, or somebody's trying to rob you of some sort. When none of this music is yours to give anyway. And like that, you know what I mean? Like it was just, it was just a lot of different. So you spoke, parts. you spoke, to, you spoke to. I never knew, I didn't know you. you I didn't, you spoke to Miller yourself. You spoke yeah, to him. I had, a, I had a conversation with him, and he was trying to ask for some type of absurd type of money, way more than whatever the studio time that Stax had used and it was worth at the time. And it was just like, it was very distasteful and shit like that. And um, at that time, I, it's, it's a lot of things that. I had to find a deep place in myself to make sure that I continue to move in the right direction and shit like that over that small instance because of how much I love Stacks. But yeah, that dude wasn't, he wasn't, he, he, he wasn't thinking right. I heard he asked 50,000 for the record. That's what I heard. It was actually 100,000. So it wasn't 50. It was 100,000. Hold on now. You sure, Cabo? You told you 100,000? I'm telling you. Who you talk? Isn't there nobody <laughs> talk for me? I'm telling you. <laughs> all right, my I'm telling you, man. Stacks was my artist at the time. I was trying to get all the music I could. You ask Chris. Chris was there. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. I know Luck was there. Yeah, like he asked for hundred thousand. I was like, yeah, you bugging, like, and then you know how the rest of what I was. I was uh, you know? hundred thousand. Did he? And you didn't get a breakdown. You didn't want a breakdown of, of what the hundred thousand was for. You just because I know how you get. So one thing I learned about you, I watched you over the years. It's like a couple people that can talk to you. Mel is one of them. Seen Stack do it as a couple of people. You start, you know, I didn't see your encounter really with killing them, but you start to shut down and like, mm. like it's really, and you want to go somewhere else. Nobody got time for that. So when this man is telling you this, did you give him a chance? Did you did you give him a chance to have another conversation? Like, yo, nah, I can't do that. Go think about it. Or you just it was one of the I'm shutting down because of all the stuff that came with it. Like his pops came home, Ray C came home, and it, you know I didn't shut down. I of course I try to speak some sense into him and shit like that, but he was just too unrealistic. Like. He was really being unrealistic. I didn't even know the name was Miller and shit like that. But, yeah, I, try, I, I attempted to get the music from out of there because he had a lot of dope music. Remember, he was he trying did. to finish up a mixtape. When he came off tour, he had put that record out and shit like that. Like, just even thinking back, the whole shit is bizarre. Shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just, just, and, and that's another thing. What I'm saying, you got to watch what you project in these music. And I see all these kids making this op music. Stack, Stack Bundles was making op music back then. Now that I'm looking back at it, he was <laughs> right. He, 
Some say it's crazy. What? So I'm just saying, like, there's so, so many Fully different. loaded. I was in the studio for that. Mm. And we was in the studio for Click Click Clack. And he came, off, he came off tour and he put that record out when we came off tour because it's just, God bless him, man. And he looking back and seeing how these youngsters is running around now, it's just, you know. But I just, I, I'm just happy you said it because I want JR, because JR, you be around a lot of times and G, mm. we hear these things and I'm happy that I'm able to get this get this out of Jim. And Shatik here, like we all, Shatik being from Queens, being that dude and being in the industry and doing the, all the famous beats and all that shit. You know, he don't want to talk famous. about it. You know what I'm saying? DMX beat, Drake beat. Uh -huh. He, he tried to hide. Fair. Beats on film. Yeah, he tried to hide. But we, when we talk about Stack and we had these conversations, mm. everybody, right, Shy, you can believe it, they put it on Capo, right? They blame him. And Bino and me is the only ones like, wait, hold on. And Bass be like, wait, what are y'all talking about? Only and, thing that I ever did was try to help Stax in, in all of his situations. And it's a fact. When we forged our relationship, I told him until he did a deal, I'm going to hold my end of the deal up. I know what it takes. I know where you at in life and shit like that. So, And that's when I told him a clove, a clove mouth don't get fed and I can't read your mind. Just remember that. You dig? So at any time and this shit is not going right for you and I don't know about it, I won't know about it. So you got to let me know. And he God did, bless. I remember, yeah, we was there. He was like, yo, geez, you said closed mouth, don't, don't get, get fed. fed. Mm -hmm. I'm up. Pop, I f the pack up. Mm. <laughs> and I start laughing, like, yo, go to the bank tomorrow. Or go yeah. to Friday, whatever day it was. And it was like the next day he, he didn't make it. No, the next day he didn't make it to the bank because he went out to the party. After I told him that shit that night, yo, went out to a party. Yeah. Yo, overslept. He didn't make it to the bank that day. He called me like, geez, I ain't make it to the bank. I overslept. You know we went crazy last weekend. night. It, it was the weekend. Yeah, it was going. Yeah, that's right. You're right. And the I was day, like, well, closed. go on Monday. Yes. And he got killed on Sunday. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's what happened. Because I saw him. I saw him the Sunday when he was going out to go to the club. I saw him. Mm. I told him. So, I said, just take your ID. My account just go in there and show him your ID. And, and, and they're going to give you the money. If if anybody, so one of my dreams is and now I'm in a better position in life. And of course, you know, if anybody came to the realization, would you ever put out an actual stack album? Like, say if if everything ever got worked out and become the Okapa, would you would you still do that, or you feel like the time has passed? And I want to know. Nah, honestly. hell no, the time has never passed. I will always put the music out. I would love I would love to put a dope album out if I could right now, and then mix it with some of the new artists that's popping right now because. I'm a Stax died at a young age, so his his music is still young, and some of these young artists are dope. I would love to do an album like that and shit like that, and really and, and still get some of the some of the the the, the, the legends, the kisses, and all that, because you know he was a rap rapper. He was, he was rapping circles around everybody in the game at that time. Like knew they could not fuck with Stax. I don't care who it was. Like period. Like he was going way up, and he wasn't coming down. He had endless bars, and his mom cadence was there. He was handsome. He had the whole package. He knew how to dress. He talked slick. He was tough. The girls loved tough, him. Tough, light-skinned mm -hmm. girls loved him. You heard? And the industry started to love him, especially from the New York standpoint. And that was a time when New York was still prominent in the game. You know what I mean? And he was looking like he could be the next out of New York to really take some fame. Shout out to Bino, though. A lot of people don't know that Bino was really, like, the backbone of Stack Bundles. Mm -hmm. Bino did a lot. You see what he said he did for Killer? Yeah, yeah. Bino, did Bino a lot. was there every step of the way. I Bino. had all you niggas on tour with me. All I, was, tour with me. I was the youngest. And Bino, yeah. did def Bino definitely did everything that Stacks needed him to do. He definitely picked up the missing pieces. He was there. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, he was there in a lot of different ways for him and shit like that. Like, and and I, I, that's what I respected a lot about Bino and shit like that. He, he knew his position and shit like that. Nice. Not to mention he was big as shit, so he looked like security when he coming <laughs> through. You heard? Boss, and then he's smashing the head if he had to. Like, That's they had a great relationship. Like, all y'all had a great relationship. You had a good, you had a, a nice little camaraderie and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, we had fun times on that road, too. 